Today's video is being brought to you by NeverDenyMe.com. Make sure you take a look at the website for all your graphic needs, anything from digital to physical. What's going on everybody? It's your boy Nate Matthews back again with another video. Before we get this video started, I'm going to ask y'all so y'all just don't forget. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for your boy. If you end up not liking the video later, you can take your like back, you know what I'm saying? But hopefully you guys love the video. Drop a comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff right there. What you're seeing on screen right now is the end result, hopefully, of what I'm getting ready to try to do today. I've gotten asked a lot of times, instead of making patches with my machine, can I embroider directly into a t-shirt, a towel, a hat, whatever it may be? The answer is yes. Have I done it? No, but that's what I'm getting ready to do today. I wanna show you guys something, what I think is kinda of cool, which is how this design that you're seeing right there, the King design, came about. I actually started off this design by drawing a picture of this kid. Y'all thought that picture was me, right? Nah, not really. But this is actually a picture I drew of somebody when I first started learning how to make cartoons um, a couple years ago. You know, I, I still do this actually. So if you guys would like to me, for me to draw a picture of you or do whatever else you want with it, I do offer those services as well. The link is gonna be in the, the description. Uh, before you guys ask me about prices and all that, just read the description, contact me in the correct place. I need the pictures and stuff like that to know the price and you know stuff like that. So I need to know what we're gonna be doing before we do it so I can give you a price now anyways enough talking I drew this picture of this kid some years ago I wanted to recreate the design that I made for where is it at where is it at uh, this right here this is the original t-shirt design that I made uh, also a few years ago inspired by a performance by Kendrick Lamar I think it was like the BT awards or something like that where he was rapping and he ended up standing in front of a silhouette of Africa so right I made this t-shirt sold a whole bunch of them it was good then I started learning how to make patches and I wanted to make this design into a patch. Um, what I told you guys in the previous video though is that when there is a lot of uh, letters and things like that in your design, trying to make that and squeeze it down to, you know, I can stitch up to five by seven with the machines that I have. Uh, more so though, I try to make four by four designs. If I were to try to squeeze all these letters though into a such a small design, um, it wouldn't really look as nice as I think it could possibly look. And also if I wanted to make it into a patch, um, I would also need to throw a border on this and I don't think the shape of this with having a border and stuff on all that would be so great so that's why I wanted to do something like this right now you guys may or may not have seen me with a t-shirt that I also have for sale link in the description right here and that's why I want to make a smaller one you know for embroidery so we got the black one right there we got the white one right there okay enough of that I'm gonna show you guys again how I turn this design into this right here now, we started off with the picture of this kid's face, right? Now, since this was the uh, uh, unapologetically black, I wanted to do something, you know, with the same inspiration uh, to make it into a patch. So first thing, boom, I crown my guy up, right? I don't even know this kid, by the way. Random person contacted me. Man, you you the star of my newest design right here that I love so much. And it's all over my desk at work with ma magnets and uh, uh, buttons and all that stuff, man. You don't even know. Uh, check this out, though. So I originally had Unapologetic on the crown. I decided later on to change it, you know, you know, I put King on there. It's a little bit better. Now, since this was the uh, unapologetically black design with the African thing in the background before, I went ahead and threw Africa behind me, sized it up and all that, right? Now, with this uh, uh, being the shape of Africa, but then I got this kid's face right here, it's kind of, uh, you know, thrown off the shape. It's no longer the shape of Africa. So... What I did, let me go ahead and highlight these different things right here. I uh, Let me see. You guys can't see. I'm clicking on the side here, but I'm entering the uh, clipping mask in my program. Half of the face is cut off, everything right there. Now, I wanted to make this uh, design not as identifying to be tagged to this guy. And the eyes are one of the things that identify people. So first thing I did was I covered my guy's eye up. So now you don't really know who it is. You just see a black face crowned Africa in the background. You know, it's a nice start. I like the way it's going. But... I mean, my man's had a little mustache, you know. I started thinking, I said, you know what? I do want this to look like me a little bit. So what I did was I scribbled on a little beard, you know what I'm saying? I just scribbled on a little beard, covered it up, as you can see. And that so makes it look a little bit more like me, right? All right, then. So that's what I did with that. And I turned it into a, uh, a poster. I'm going to show you guys that in person. But this is a poster that I ended up doing with it. I uh, make and sell a whole bunch of those posters as well. Um, this is one that I'm going to be printing out soon. So if you guys, you know, are interested, I do all this type of stuff, you know, prints, magnets, all 
visit the website below neverdenyme.com thank you so much and uh what's this one i don't even know oh this is the button right here so i'm gonna show you guys all this in person as soon as i jump off of this screen before i do that let me actually show you guys the process of exactly how it stitches out let's jump over to that program right now there we go so as you guys are seeing right before your eyes is the design already digitized and everything like that right this is how exactly how it stitches out um i, I think it looks nice you know what i'm saying i'm just gonna be quiet and let it go and do its thing have it king design stitched out let's see how it looks in 3d boop something like that but i'm gonna show you on person how it really looked but yeah 3d stitched out all right so i think i showed you guys everything i needed to show you from the computer so i'm getting ready to bust the good old camera out we're gonna jump over to the embroidery machine and we're gonna watch the process of how this stitches directly into a t-shirt let's get it so here we are over at the machine some time has gone by but it took me a while to try to figure out this uh, whole setup uh, versus, you know, trying to align exactly where I'm going to be stitching this design at. Trying to decide if I was going to use a brand new shirt or a shirt that I have uh, already been wearing before. Just in case I do mess up. Um, I had to, you know, test out the placement with one that I've already digitized and patched and, you know, turned into a patch. Now the hard part about this is not only does it say it's going to take 39 minutes. Or actually I skipped one of the colors so the time is going to be a little uh, shorter than that. But as you can see... The shirt is like kind of in the way, so I'm going to have to kind of sit here and make sure, you know, the shirt doesn't get stitched and this stays clear out of the way of what we're getting ready to do. First part, though, as you guys can see, first part, it's only going to be one minute. We're starting actually with the mouth. The part that I skipped that's going to save a whole lot of time with this specific design is the black border, like all the black and stuff like that. I'm skipping that since it is a black t-shirt. By the way, if you guys can see, I do have stabilizer right there. I'm actually putting it on top because it's a lot easier to, you know, put it onto the shirt like this and this is actually a tear away stabilizer that I'm using so once I'm done I can just rip off the design on the edge and the only thing that will be left is the design itself so far so good I mean, and this is for, again, all the people who may not want, you know, the little iron-on patches that I've had. You know, I've seen the lighting. The little iron-on patches make them go on real easy. You may not want to buy a patch and, you know, sew it on yourself or something like that. Hey, this if this keeps going the way it is, I may start offering services where I'll, I'll put your design directly into a t-shirt for you. Or a bag, whatever it may be. So far, so good, man. Again, this is my first time doing it this way. Uh, it took me a while to kind of figure out exactly what I needed to do, but it looks like it's coming along pretty good, and let's see how the end results end up being. Also, the design is all finished. Just popped it out the hoop. Uh, first thing first, we're going to just take a look at the back just to make sure there's no clumps or anything. And looks good to me. There it is. It's pretty smooth, so nothing got stuck along the back. Of course, this right here is normal. You would just clip these extra threads right there. Um, on the back, normally, this is where you would have, you know, your stabilizer. This is right here is a cutaway stabilizer. Reason I didn't put this on the inside of the shirt though is because it's very hard to try to align it to make sure, you know, it matches. As you can see, the little ring marks and things like that because I had it in there before. It took a very long time to try to get it, but it was so hard to get back in there. So I was like, you know what? Instead of putting the stabilizer in the back where it should be, I'm actually going to put it on top. But to have to avoid from uh, avoid myself from having to cut it and risking cutting the shirt, I got tearaway stabilizer, so I can just try to rip it apart as it actually already ripped when I was trying to, you know, put it in there. So I'm going to go ahead and just rip a little bit of this on camera. Then, of course, I'll take it off and do the rest afterwards. But yeah, tearaway stabilizer, as you can see, peels off very simple. Very simple. Let's go ahead and do this. Then all the part that's white on the inside of the design, that's what I'm going to have to, you know, really get in there. Because everything that's white right here is actually supposed to be black, which is the color of the shirt underneath. So, 
yeah here it is i'll go ahead and check back with you guys when i take it out of the hoop and pick everything out and show you guys the final result and this is what the t-shirt looks like on me placement came out very good check that out only thing is the stitching kind of messed up a little bit around the mouth. I think uh, the stabilizer, well, I'm pretty sure it was a lot of uh, stitches in the area. So the stabilizer kind of ripped through right away. Man, it looks really nice. Uh, the, the placement, that was like the biggest thing. I wanted to make sure it came out that it wasn't going to be all crooked. It looks like, you know, it, it is straight. It's in the perfect spot where it should be. And this was the example right here. Same exact size right there, perfect. So this is the patch that, you know, I can make ahead of time, cut it out and then actually just hand sew it or, you know, glue it on. And the exact same patch, exact same size has now been embroidered directly into the shirt. I think, man, this is just like super cool. I might even add some, uh, like some uh, felt, like glue some uh, felt or something along the back just to prevent the stitches from coming undone, um, you know, in the wash and things like that. But yeah, I do like the way this thing came out. If you guys found this video helpful, if you guys have any designs you want to see in mind or have your own logo that you would like for me to uh, digitize so you can make your own designs on your own shirt, um, contact me. You know, my info is again in the description of this video. And I hope you guys subscribe and stick around for more. So here we are at the workstation. Just wanted to show you guys a couple other things. Again, this is one of the original designs that came about with the uh, design we're getting ready to stitch up today. This is just a canvas. And I just got some paint markers and some acrylic paint, things like that. Do the black, uh, uh, you know, on there. Unapologetically black with the gold border around the letters. I think that came out nice. And I ended up making a poster with it right there. If you guys would like some of your boys artwork hanging up in your spot, contact me. You know, we can get that done for you. I got some uh, patches right here that I've made. Now, these are some different type of patches. Now, I ain't told nobody about this yet, but, you know, I, I, I got a video, but I don't know if I'm going to upload it. I don't know if y'all want to see it. I don't know. You know, y'all go, you know, I'm going to buy some of these, sell a couple of these. Now, these patches right here are the same size as the embroidered ones, but this is on fabric. So this design is on fabric right there, and it does have the uh, iron-on backing. These are, you know, very thin, so they'll, you know, you can stick it on your pants, stuff like that, you feel me? And they will just adhere to, to any and everything right there, right, with the iron-on backing. We got the design in a button right there. Now we got the pin back style. Or I should show you guys the back, right? So I'll show you that it's pinned back. So we got the pinned back style button of this design. As well as I have designs like this as well with the magnets on it. Now we got the uh, embroidered ones right here, right? So I can also just stitch this into a shirt. It makes it easy for me to take it out and, you know, all that. We got two different designs uh, or two different sizes. I think this one is like four inches, whereas this one is like two and a half or something like that. Two, two and a half, which is actually perfect for like a hat or a beanie, whatever it may be. Now these are the same size right here. This is another one I did right here. What y'all think about that, man? This is my avatar. If you guys follow me on Instagram or have me on uh, any of my other social networks, this is my little avatar that I also drew. Uh, made it myself very cartoonish. I do think it looks pretty cool. And this is also with the iron-on backing. This have not put it on anything yet. If you guys want your face and straw drawn and, you know, if you guys want some different stuff like this, just know, I mean, I can do it all. Um, you just got to let me know exactly what you want. You got to have your design. If you need your, you know, a picture drawn, I can do that too. So contact me, man. Neverdenyme.com. Take a look at my work.